You got a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or 10 Plus and want to know what you can do with it? In this video I'll show you some quick tips and tricks with focus on the newest features. Let's start with the new S Pen Air actions. With this you can control music, media, supported apps etc by clicking on the button and moving the S Pen up, down, left and right or by doing rotations. For example with the camera app you can switch between modes, you can zoom in or zoom out and trigger the shutter button. Since the SDK is open other developers can implement this in the future like with Google Chrome for example. Just go to settings, advanced features, S Pen, Air Actions and you can see which of your current installed apps supports this feature and set up an action for each gesture inside an app. Because the Note 10 comes without a Bixby button, Bixby is activated with a long press of the power button. Just go back to advanced features, tap on side key and choose power off menu instead to get rid of Bixby. If you also want to get rid of Bixby home, just pinch anywhere on the home screen and deactivate it. A new feature which is basically the system integration of the Your Phone app can be found under advanced settings linked to windows. You only have to install the Your Phone app on your windows device through the Microsoft App Store and then you can easily transfer your last 25 images to your PC and get all your notifications directly to your PC which is the most useful part. What's much cooler is the new DEX mode because now you don't have to plug in your phone to your monitor. You can plug it into your PC or laptop via USB and use Windows slash macOS and DEX at the same time. It's a perfect solution for people who want to work with apps or files out of their phone or even play some games while still being able to use Windows. Additionally you can transfer files back and forth via plug and play. For this you only have to install the DEX app on your Windows or Mac OS device and then every time you plug in your phone DEX will automatically launch. A more fun way to use AR is AR Doodle which you can access through the S Pen menu. Here you can draw on people's faces and it will stick on them so you can take fun pictures and videos with your friends. This also works with your environment and not just faces. A new video feature is the zoom in mic. You can activate it under camera settings, advanced recording options. This will emulate a boom mic which only highlights the subject you are filming while also isolating the audio from the environment. Zooming in makes the effect even stronger. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 now has a more advanced video editor. Basically you can cut multiple videos together, add transitions, change speed, add some filters and more. It's still quite basic compared to apps like Adobe Rush but it's easy and smooth to work with for minor editing. Now there are some more features coming up this year like taking calls with your Windows device or streaming games from Windows to your phone which is actually a pretty cool feature. But we still have to wait for those to come out. Until then you can watch my Galaxy S10 and Galaxy Note 9 tips and tricks video for a more detailed view on the Samsung features which are pretty much the same and haven't changed in this one. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.